Good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> okay, I was very happy to see you here. Look like a lot of people have got problems logging into our first online meetings. Okay. Can you hear me well? If you can hear me, please type yes into the chat window. Okay. Good. Now, uh, can you tell me where you are now um, attending this meeting? Are you at home? Are you in an internet cafe? Or are you in your school? Now, please type your answer into the yes window, uh, the chat window. Okay, so I turned on the webcam for a while, okay, just to give a bit of interactions, and then I had to turn it off in order to say bandwidth for our meeting. Good. So all of you are at home. Um, now some people are still not in here, but that's gonna be fine because the meeting is now being recorded and the recording of the meeting will be available on YouTube uh, hopefully at the end of the day um, now as I have told you in the email before the meeting we are going to discuss the last topic of uh, the design of online educational resources is about uh, evaluating web resources and uh, Um, we will have some hands-on practice during this online sessions. Uh, before we begin, um, I have a question for all of you, as you can see on uh, the screen of the slide. Uh, why is it important for evaluating website? Any ideas? Now, please type your answers into the chat window. So let me say the questions again. Why do you think it is important for us to evaluate websites that we get from the internet? Any ideas? Now come on, what do you think? Just give it a try. Uh, yes, so thank you Vanang for the first answer. Because we get information on it, so we need to know whether it is reliable. Well, I agree. Um, we need to make sure that um, the information we get is reliable. What else? What happens when you type a keyword into Google search engine? What do you get? Now let me try to turn on the webcam again. Now tell me what you get when you... Okay, I get a response from uh, Hương to redesign or find out bugs or errors. Mm. Well, that is a good idea, um, but I'm, I'm more concerned with the contents of the website, of, of <coughs> the information, um, rather than the you know, technical part, like what we have done with Dreamweaver and um, HTML. Well, there are several reasons. Um, the first reason, I think, all of you okay, are well aware 
the um, the information from the internet is so huge and almost everybody can upload can share or post information onto uh, websites blogs or social networks um, in the previous topics you have already learned to create a website upload the website to um, a web server and then make it available accessible to people all around the world and I think you are now okay, uh, quite familiar okay, with the different tools that can help people easily publish the contents onto the internet what I mean is that almost now almost everybody okay, has the ability to share information on the internet and uh, because information comes from such a diverse range of different sources we need to make sure that um, um, information comes from the sources that we can trust um, now um, we are going to look at uh, in these sessions the criteria for good web resources and we are going to look at the following things authority accuracy of the content objectivity of the information uh, currencies I, I mean okay, how update um, the information is coverage and design now um, now the, the first uh, category is about the author or the sponsoring organizations uh, I, I mean okay, the people okay, or the organizations that design the websites um, we need to look at their qualifications uh, we need to look at their reputations and uh, and 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 okay try to look for okay information that is um, that is linked to uh, the author or the sponsor of the website um, now as a rule of thumb websites ending with edu uh, GOV okay, are usually websites that are very um, well controlled I mean it's not easy for individuals to apply for a domain name ending with edu and uh, GOV uh, we are usually saved for education and government agencies only um, so when we see okay, these kinds of information for example uh, we uh, have an idea about where uh, they come from now um, I would like you to click on this link Let me check and see if it works. Okay, now I want you to look at the website and tell me um, what you think of the website in terms of the first criteria.
authority. Is it good? Is it okay? Or is it bad? I just click on the options in the poll. <laughs> okay, so here we have got one box. Okay, so uh, we have three for okay and two for good. Um, well, if you look closely at the link on the website, you see it ends with uh, HTML, and uh, okay, uh, this this means that um, uh, the website was manually designed using. Dreamweaver, um, okay, a tool that is similar to um, uh, what we have worked with uh, during the past weeks. Um, and if you look at the link, you also see that it ends with .com, and um, the domain name okay, look like well, look like uh, it's a free okay uh, host and. Uh, usually, you know, uh, organizations with uh, reputations um, w will not use free okay, uh, uh, servers or hosting in order to upload the content. So that's what we can tell from the link. Now, when we look at the um, when we look at the website. Um, it's uh, quite likely that this is a personal web page. Why? Uh, because I um, I do not find good information about who are responsible for the contents on this website. When I scroll down to the you know, to the foot of the page, you can see um, I cannot find the name or the organizations that are responsible. Um, I well, I I can see the copyright sign. Yeah, proofs, fans, work, own right reserve, and uh, that's it. Now another thing that uh, you know gets to my attention is that there are a lot of advertisement. Okay, there are one, two, three, three um, advertising banners on the website, and it is probably um, um, personal web page uh, with the aim of making revenue from online advertising. So um, I think, okay, this should be. Okay, rather than good. Now, uh, let me give you an example, another example of okay, what a website with good authority is like. Now, could you please? Click on the link that I have just sent. Yeah, please click on that. Now, can you all see the website? 
You see, it is much better design and the link and with uh, US or uh, GOV um, it tells us that okay, this is a governmental website um, and when you scroll down to the bottom of the website you can see the copyright site uh, city of Mankato, Minnesota um, so okay, from the link and the information in the footer we are sure about the people or the organization that are, that are responsible for uh, contents on this website and obviously okay, in terms of authority this is a good website Now, the next thing we look at for evaluating a website is whether the information is reliable uh, and, and, and accurate. And of course, we take into account grammatical, spelling, and typographical errors. Um, we cannot trust a website that has uh, a lot of uh, errors. Uh, grammatical spelling and 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 uh, typing errors, and uh, uh, we also ask these questions to help ourselves evaluate whether the contents of the website is accurate, um, whether there is an editor or someone who verifies, review the information, and especially with the case of. Uh, um, research and uh, scientific information uh, we need to ask whether there is a bibliography or other resource link uh, listed so that we can track uh, the information uh, when we want and uh, of course uh, we need to be critical we need to compare the information um, with information that has been gathered previously and, and, and see if they uh, contradict with each other. Now, um, this is another hands-on activity okay, for evaluating accuracy. Now, I want you to go to this link. Okay, now click on Please click on the link on the website that I have just sent. Well, the website is down. Okay.
Yeah. Now, so please click on link to the website and uh, let me know what you think about the website in terms of um, accuracy. Okay, so one vote. Now, when you look at the website, you can see that uh, um, there is a big organization behind the website. So, uh, in terms of authority, uh, this one is good, right? Um, the United Nations Entity for Gender Equality. And uh, when we try to look for information about whether Okay, the, the information posted here is review. Um, you can, if, if you click on the home page, just right from the home page, you see okay, the headlines, comprehensive, up to date, review. Um, and if you go around clicking on several links, you see that okay, in order to get information published on the website, um, everything needs to be reviewed and when, when when you click on okay the link in the you know um, top left corner with the article there comprehensive up-to-date reviewed and read a little bit you can see that uh, this web portal is reviewed and there is information contact uh, of the editors and uh, the reviewers so we can be quite sure that contents and information from this website uh, are accurate so personally I think this is a good website in term in terms of uh, accuracy Okay, so we have looked at um, authority, accuracy. The next thing we also need to look at is whether the information presented on the website is uh, objective or you know subjective, um, especially with um, with with contents or websites uh, that. Uh, uh, you know political religious in nature um, is okay, quite possible that uh, people publishing information and contents on this side try to persuade the readers okay, uh, to accept their viewpoint so <clears throat> um, these are the things that we uh, need to look for when judging whether the website is uh, objective or not, uh, we we try to see if 
uh, there is you know advertising um, it can be explicit or implicit advertising uh, in the writing um, and uh, we also okay look for possible prejudice and uh, and and bias um, in, um, in the writing um, especially with um, sensitive issues both sides okay up okay the, the, the issues need to be addressed um, now it's time for us to look at some simple website and see how well they go in terms of objectivity Okay, now please click on the link to the website about Martin Luther King. Um, this is a very famous human rights activist in the United States. And I'm pretty sure that a lot of people know about him. I want you to okay, look around the website a little bit and tell me what you think about this website in terms of... Um, Objectivity. When you are finished, again come back to our screen and cast your vote about the contents of the website. Okay, so I can see one vote for good, um, two for okay, and one for bad. All right, so Ian want to talk okay, to the whole group. Well, I will pass the microphone to you now. Okay, let's see.
attendees are muted, and they unmute themselves by pressing star six. Um, well, we are now in okay, the uh, question and answer mode of the meeting. Previously, okay, I put the meeting in the listen-only mode in order to avoid okay, echo noises from uh, microphone of other people. But uh, if you want to talk, just raise your hands or, um, or, or, or okay, type into the chat window and I, I will pass the microphone to you. Now, Ian, you want to say something to the whole group? Okay, Ian, you have anything to share? Okay, um, that's the reason why, you know, I put our meeting in the uh, listen mode only so that uh, we do not need to have okay, a lot of okay, bandwidth and uh, it should work on even very, uh, you know, poor connections. But uh, it, it's fine, I, I can hear you quite well. Um, does, any, does anybody else want to say something? Now, if, if you want to talk to the whole group, simply click on the microphone on the attendees list. And you can see eight people online now with, uh, their, with their microphone muted. If you want to unmute your microphone, simply click on that and you'll be able to talk to the whole group. Now, Ian? Okay, now. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you quite well. Now, Ian, Ian, could you please tell the whole group what you think about the website on Martin Luther King in terms of objectivity? Now, can you tell the whole group what you think? Okay, there are three, you know, choices. Okay, and, and I want you to explain, okay, why you can okay, make your choice. Okay. Why? I want you to explain to the class, okay, about your choice of the website in terms of objectivity. Um, website, uh, website of yeah, the link of the website that I have just sent, the website about Martin Luther King. Okay. So my question is, what do you think of this website in terms of objectivity? Okay, yeah, that's, that's, that's fine, that's fine, okay, good, now, um, so I give you two more minutes, okay, to look through the website, does anybody want to share? Hương, you want to say something? It's okay. It's very clear to me. Okay, I can hear you quite well.
Okay. Yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah. But then, uh, actually here, they, 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 they do a lot of things, and, and the, 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 uh, the, the way that they, they, uh, posting the comments in this one, um, from King for God, for example, is not really good, um, website. Yeah. The language, I mean the language. Yeah. The language yeah, yeah. Well, uh, thank you, Hương. Does anybody else want to share? Mighty, you want to say anything? Yeah, I can hear you well. Okay, um, so we have heard, you know, some opinions about that the website, uh, in a well, no, I have just put our meeting back into the uh, listen-only mode, so that, okay, you only hear me, and, okay, uh, we are also free from the echo background noises. Now, if you look closely at the website about Martin Luther King, um, you can see that <laughs> nearly all the information presented in this website is um, very negative about Martin Luther King. They try to present a very, you know, dark side. Okay, up, okay, up, up, uh, daughter, king, uh, and, and, uh, and, Okay, if you have already read okay, a little bit about American history, Martin Luther King is considered as the hero of the black people fighting for equality, for um, uh, okay, the goodness of black people. So um, as okay, Hương says, some of the information in the website seem to be quite racist. And if you look, if you click on some of the links on the website, you will see that okay, um, you will see that okay, nearly all of the links okay, criticize or uh, try to present a very bad image of Martin Luther King. So I think um, obviously this website is not you know, objective, is not fair, okay, and and um, if I you know vote for the website in terms of objectivity. Obviously, okay, bad, okay, uh, uh, will be my choice. Uh. Do you want to share anything before we look at another website? If you want to say something, you, you can look at my mood there and, and raise your hands, or you can time into the chat window. I can see you quite well. Now, please look at this okay, website. And again, I want you to evaluate the website in terms of Well, the website was here okay, just one week ago, and uh, so please go to the home page instead. Please click on the home page.
Okay, wait a little bit. I try to... Try to... Get... The website back. Now, so, okay, I'm sorry because, okay, the website on, uh, on Human Growth Foundation is too big and, and there, are, there are too many categories. It's hard for us to evaluate the uh, objectivity of the information. And instead, please go to this website about the, uh, uh, Okay, um, wind power. Now, so I want you to look at the website and then okay, decide whether the website presents, you know, fair, unbiased uh, information about the wind power or not. So, I have a question for all of you to think about. Do you think the information presented in this website is objective and okay, unbiased? Okay, objective. Now, we say just yes or no.
Okay, so we have got two votes for yes, okay, and one no. That's interesting. So, all attendees are unmuted. So now I put our meeting again in the discussion mode, we, so that we can discuss about okay this website. Now, Mighty, can you share with the whole group about what you think? That's a good point. But but can you give us more evidence about why you think that the website is not really objective? Okay, thank you. Uh, well, um, thank you for your sharing. I quite agree with you. Um, this website okay, uh, seem to, you know, present only negative information about uh, about uh, the topic of uh, National Wind Watch. And okay, if you look at the the, the at, at the feeds in the documents. You see links on on the right side. Okay, they they link only to to articles that goes against the ideas of uh, using uh, wind power. And when you, okay, especially when you when you find the about us link, and click on that, click on the about us. You see at the bottom. Yeah, when you click on about, you see right at the top it says through this website and WW promotes awareness and documents the negative impacts of industrial scale wind okay, turbines on the environment, economy, and the quality of life. Okay. Yeah. So when you when you read this part. Okay, uh, you can be pretty sure that uh, this website try to, you know, publicize the okay, negative impacts of okay, industrial wind power. And okay, I think, okay, I think, okay, we cannot, okay, um, we cannot say that the information here is objective and fair. So I vote for it. no. Okay, that's gonna be my vote. Uh, any other sharings or any other ideas before I okay, go on? All attendees are muted. 
Okay. Um, now our next criteria, okay, uh, for a good website is whether the information is up to date, uh, whether it is current or not, and in order to decide uh, on this criteria, we need to look for okay the date that the okay information is updated and okay um, we also look around to see okay how well the different categories of the website are okay, uh, updated so ba basically for okay the currencies we okay, we try to decide whether okay, the information is up to date or not because as we no information on the internet okay, uh, keeps you know uh, changing um, every day and okay, a good website okay, should be one uh, that uh, has you know a lot of updates okay again I want to test this link before Sending it out to you. Okay, not work. Okay, so I want you to uh, know the website is down. Okay, this is the new link. Now, it is website up to date? Please type yes or no into the chat window. Okay, now uh, everybody, please type your answer into the chat window. Do you think that um, the information here is up to date? Okay, yes. Um, so I got one yes from Dung. Um, you can see that the uh, 
the last time that the information in this website was updated was quite recent and then that's why it put you know 2014 okay this year now this website has been available for several years and I have used it in okay, these lessons on website evaluations um, several times and you see okay, each time information is updated um, they have a you know, lock of the okay, updates and uh, they also put the time Okay. For the complete, um, you know, for the for the complete report. If you go to well, uh, investor relations, for example. Um, if you go to yeah now on on your on your right side if you go to annual reports yeah so you can see okay reports up their activities every year posted there and then if you go to okay the tab webcasts you see okay all of their meetings all of the okay online web conferences was recorded and and then okay uh, uh updated uh in this category so obviously this is okay a good website uh, in that okay it is okay updated uh, um, very frequently and um, and the um, people responsible for the website are very concerned with uh, keeping the information here updated okay um, now our okay next Criterion for a good website is, you know, how how well is cover the scope of the stories um, in terms of coverage. Um, we need to see okay, whether the content is relevant to uh, the topic that uh, we are looking for, and we also decide whether the web page tells us the whole story or just part of the story and um, is it also okay, a good norm okay, for okay, uh, content developer to offer links to other pages on the same topics if they consider those topics you know important and worthwhile um, they should also invite uh, the readers to compare their information on their own web pages with information from the other web pages um, now so let's look at a website on sports Okay. Uh, okay. This is a big website, and it takes yeah, it takes okay a little bit of time okay to load. But you see, um, this is like okay, okay one stop for everything. Okay, if you're interested uh, in 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 uh, sports, uh, it covers all sorts of sports, and of course because now the whole world. Um, 
okay, uh, watching World Cup, you can see okay, uh, information and uh, report of the matches okay, right on the banner of the website. So this is what it is like to be okay, a website with good coverage. Okay, by, by coverage here, I, I mean it covers all sorts of topics that are relevant to sports. Uh, and okay, it has nearly all the information that okay, a sports enthusiast would like to know. Well, I have a question here from Ian. Um, well, I do not see your webcam yet. Um, I think you can only share your webcam in the um, in in the discussion mode. Um, usually, webcam will put a lot of pressures on the bandwidth of our meeting, so I only okay, give it a try at the end of the meeting later when we discuss and wrap up. Um, uh, next. Please look at this website, vnexpress.net. Do you think that this website is, you know, comprehensive in terms of coverage? I'm sure that a lot of people are already familiar with the website, so just say yes or no. Okay. So this is my question. Yeah, it is a good website in terms of coverage. Good. Okay, so all of you agree that VN Express is a good website in terms of coverage. Right. Um, so, if we think about our web project that we are going to work on um, uh, with, with um, a web quest, you, you can see that it's very hard for us to... Okay, uh, to cover a lot of things in our website, uh, but but okay. Um, basically, I encourage you to try to have okay, as many pages as possible. Ten is the minimum number. Okay, but try to have as many pages as possible because richness of contents, richness of resources, is okay. Um, is uh, you know uh, important for okay um, the Okay, users of the website. Okay, and this is our last criteria. Yeah, happy to say that before we okay, do something else for our train. Lastly, you also need to look at the website. Uh, in terms of uh, the design, um, is it good looking? Is it pleasant for your eyes or not? Are the links clearly display, clearly label? Um, is it easy for the users to interact with the website? Uh, okay, does it take very long? Okay, for the website to load, 
and uh, a there's good use of graphics and colors um, all of these things count to worry okay uh, the score of design for our website um, now I want you now to have a look at the okay, uh, website of the university. I have just sent the link Samford. Now, please open that website to the university and, and, and tell me okay, how would you rate this website in terms of design? Is it good or bad? Yeah, do you like the layout, the way that okay links are organized, the ways that images and text uh, are laid out on the website? Okay, so thank you for your feedback. Um, I also think that this website is um, very nice in terms of design. Now, when you scroll your mouse over the you know top navigation link, you can see eight categories. It is very well designed. Okay, for example, when you put your mouse over academics at the top, you can see a range of other topics. Okay, other sub menus, and this is really useful for students. Okay, uh, in order to navigate through this website properly. Okay, there is a lot of information in the website, and um, the, the 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 text. Okay, the color. Okay, of the text, um, mostly you know white text, standing. Okay, um, in contrast with the dark blue background, uh, that's very smart design. I think uh, it makes the text color stand out. And um, if you click on top stories or images, you can see uh, that um, they have very nice photos uh, on the front page. Okay, so if you have okay, uh, uh, if you can design a good uh, a, a website like this, then okay, it's gonna be great. But obviously, it takes a lot of you know effort. Now, how about this website, the one that I have just sent via the chat window? What do you think about this website in terms of um, design? Is it good or is it bad?
Yes. Okay. It's very unpleasant for the eyes, you know. Uh, green color is very strong and, and okay, it does not match with the white backgrounds. And also, you can see there are, there must be, you know, hundreds of images, okay, uh, uh, posting everywhere on the website. And uh, when you go to the navigations, uh, you can see it's very poorly designed. Okay, it doesn't look, you know, doesn't look good at all. Even though, okay, there are a lot of information on the website. So, okay, this is, okay, an example of poor design. Okay, so um, we have okay, looked at some important criteria for evaluating websites. We look at authority, we look at um, uh, reliability, we look at um, uh, accuracy of information, we look at currency, um, we look at coverage, we look at um, design. Now these are the other possible challenges. Um, that uh, uh, can come with web resources. Uh, a lot of websites have okay, what we call dead links, links that do not work. And I also strongly advise you to thoroughly test all of your link before okay, uploading your web project to uh, our okay, uh, Okay, uh, to to our host. Um, now, uh, another thing is that uh, a lot of people do not know how to be a good Googler. I mean, they simply type in the keyword into Google uh, without knowing that there are a lot of other ways that okay we ourselves can make Google smarter, return okay better, you know, search results for us. So, um, okay, um, search engines okay, can retrieve information that is not really relevant to the users, and uh, this is uh, okay, another challenge. Uh, there are also web pages that try to get themselves uh, higher in the rankings of Google, and and the aim is to get the website on top of the you know returns uh, results from Google by using what we call a search engine optimization strategy CEO or SEO okay, as some of the you know techies okay, say and uh, these marketing oriented web pages are obviously okay, uh, do not Okay, give us accurate, fair information that we want. Um, there are also challenges that are relevant to connectivity to uh, the web host. As you can see today, okay, some of the web pages that uh, previously worked for me not very long ago now are now no longer available. And okay, that also means people need to okay, frequently check okay, for the okay, um, uh, currencies and update nets of uh, web uh, resources. Now, um, if you would like to further follow up, well, let me skip this part and give me give you more resources. Yeah, um, if you need more resources for learning about evaluating websites, I have okay these three okay uh, for you. Um, well, bad network conditions. Okay. They also a web quest. 
about evaluating website let me test the link Okay, sorry, I've just been okay, disconnected from the website because of poor internet connections. But now I'm back. Um, so let me just go right away okay, to the to the end. Um, now the web quest on evaluating website that the, the link is you know just down uh, not working so I have I have just given you an alternative you can go to this link and see a web quest activity in which uh, you know primary uh, students are instructed how to evaluate a website okay so for the whole session today we have I looked at the okay, ideas okay, um, that that can help us build a good website and okay, let me wrap up okay. these are the popular criteria for a good website authority accuracy objectivity currency coverage and design um, Um, by now I, I need you to lock back into our M learning system okay now please lock back into our M learning system there are several things I need to uh, tell you before we end our meeting now um, in topic 7 we have another hands-on activity and this is our last hands-on activity okay now I want you to do the website evaluation reflections okay uh, and then uh, do the end of course feedback now these two activities are hands-on number 12 our last hands-on okay now I will turn on my webcam so that you can see me Okay, you have any questions, feedbacks, 
on sharing about our okay, online discussion today and if you want to show your webcam to the whole group okay um okay now is the time to do it um now hương the, the hands on number 12 are actually the two activities in the okay, topic uh, 7 i i I want you to do the uh, reflections and the end of course feedback and that's for hands on uh, for, for hands on trail does anybody want to share the webcam um, well, it looks like you can only see my webcam, okay? not the uh, other participants. Okay? But it's fine. Now, again, do you have any questions or comments about about the course? Since this is our last meeting. Okay. Hi, Ian. It's very nice to see you. I can see you now. It's so nice. Okay. Good, good. <laughs> yeah. As you see in my background, I'm now in my study room. Okay. Um, there's a bookshelf behind me, and there's a very strong light behind my back. Look like you are in a cinema, Ian. <laughs> No, no, I, I, I just mean that okay, I can see the red curtains, okay, and chairs, okay, so it look like, okay, that's a very nice setting for an online meeting. Okay. Yeah. I can see a webcam coming up. Uh, Hong An, right? Okay, let's see if we can see her. Well, it takes some time. Yeah. Oh, you are in a restaurant. That's that's why I see. <laughs> that's why okay, it look like <laughs> it look like you are in a cinema. Okay, I understand. It's a good idea to you know go to an internet cafe or to go somewhere else if we do not have good internet connections. Well, thank you for your participation in the course, and I really enjoy working with all of you too. It has been um, a very good time for me um, working with you on designing the web projects, the websites, and um, I really look forward to seeing your projects online okay, in a couple of, you know, up, up, upcoming weeks. And um, what do I say? We still have time okay, working with each other, okay, but no longer face to face. Um, instead, uh, we interact online. Please keep your attention to the deadlines of the activities, and uh, and 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 uh, please mind okay, uh, the deadline. I mean, do not keep you know grass grow under your feet. Um, do not try to submit your assignment. Okay, just. 10 or 5 minutes before the deadline because you never tell okay, when you have problems you may have internet connection problem or you may have a okay, problem with your computer you are strongly advised to submit your assignment at least one day before the deadline okay, in order to you know uh, back up for okay, possible okay, problems 
Okay, so I would like to say a big thank you to all of you for participating in this meeting. Um, we say goodbye here and uh, I wish you all the best for the course.